Welcome to NC Trends. I am Shion Bankwale. Now, first it was the hashtag Kaduna Strike. Now it is hashtag El Rufai the Tyrant, a social media movement initiated by the Nigeria Labour Congress following the attack on peaceful protesters and threats to sack innocent workers who joined the strike. The tweet by NLC, which reads, Twitter family, let us hashtag El Rufai the Tyrant, has sparked various reactions from Twitter users who in turn are quick to remind NLC that they were quiet during the NSAS protest in 2020. Let's check some comments online. DJ Switch says, Hmm, my stance will always be the same. Unity! No one deserves this wickedness. Still, I will be remiss if I did not tell you we call for this same unity for hashtag NSAS. I hope we can learn and eventually come together. Here is your hashtag, Elrufai the Tyrant. Moving on, Amakaike says, where were you during the NSAS hashtag? How many hashtags did you train in solidarity with the people? Question mark. All right, finally, at Valerian247 says, even though you lost your voice during the hashtag NSAS, I will support your cause still because it is noble and because it is true that hashtag Elrufai the tyrant. Moving swiftly away from that, we move to Zambia, where hashtag Youth Vote 2021 is trending in a bid to spread awareness and encourage more youth to take part in the coming general elections. The hashtag attempts to highlight issues of national interest and remind Zambian youth on why they need to vote. What are people saying about this online? Let's check them out. Miss Chibwe says, I think our generation will have its own heroes. Hmm, I think I agree with that one. Hashtag Freedom Fighters, hashtag Youth Vote 2021. Sir Godfather also says, better agriculture policies, enough employment opportunities, no lawlessness Zambia, a Zambian system based on merit, not patronage. We the youth can make a difference in August. Let us vote wisely. Hashtag Youth Vote 2021. Finally on that, DB Cooper says, agreed. Let us vote in large numbers. The future is in our hands. Vote wisely. Hashtag Youth Vote 2021. We conclude today's episode of NC Trends in Kenya, where many people are calling for the impeachment of James Karanja in Yoro, the governor of Kiambu County, following his alleged criminal act of disrupting vote tallying for the Juja by election at Mangu High School. Let's check out what people are saying online. Son of a teacher reacted and says, Kiambu people elected Kabogo, he failed. They elected Weatitu, he failed. They rushed in to swear James in Yoro. Now this is even worse than the others. Say a prayer for that county. <laughs> All right, Honorable Moses Kuria says, James in Yoro should be prosecuted for his actions in Juja elections. Chebukati should follow up on the matter and make sure no favors are given to him. Justice must be served irrespective of office positions. No one is above the law. His prosecution will be a lesson to many. Finally on that, Michael tweeted, This man, James Nyoro, is clearly a thug, going by his behavior at the Tallinn Center. He should have been arrested immediately. Can you imagine if this was a Tanga Tanga person? This is shameful. All right, that's all for today on NC Trends. Share your thoughts with us by tweeting at New Central TV with the hashtag NC Trends and keep the conversation going. Mm -hmm.